For those who enjoy bead designs and just can't seem to get enough, here's another bracelet just for you, the Bead Zigzag Cuff. The Zigzag Bead Cuff is the perfect bead bracelet design with a unique taste and has a similar look to a Candy Cuff X-Base. An awesome bead bracelet design you can't help but to brag with beads in the middle of this bracelet that zig and zag. This bead project is great, bass fun and easy to make. So get ready for this tutorial, satisfy your creative needs, feel free to give this video a like, enjoy this episode of Turbo Beads. Here's the list of everything you need to make the zigzag bead cuff bracelet. Before starting this project, I'm letting you know that I'm using S. Getty Strings Crafting Lace made by Pepperell. It's a string that comes in a 50 yard spool, it's a round plastic lace, has a bit of elasticity to it, and it works great. I picked this up from Hobby Lobby, just keeping you informed and letting you know this is a personal choice, this is not a sponsored video. To make the zigzag cuff, the first thing you'll need is 4 feet of string. Then we're going to add 34 beads to that string in groups of 4 using this pattern. That's 3 green beads as the base color, followed by a black bead as the accent color. Continue adding beads to the string using this pattern until you have enough beads that'll work with your wrist size. As you should know that everyone's wrist sizes are different, so be sure to adjust accordingly as you may need more or less beads depending on the size of the wrist or the size of the beads. Results may also vary with other kinds of string, just find what works best for you. As you should know, this one has 34 beads. Once you have all of those beads on the string looking just like this, you'll move those beads toward one end of the string and tie both ends of string together with a square knot bringing all of those beads together. When tying your string together, be sure that your knot is tied nice and secure to ensure that everything stays locked into place and holds together. With this visual, tying the knot should be pretty simple. So once you've tied the string with a knot that's solid and secure, this is what it should look like so far. As you can see, we have this simple single bracelet with this pattern with two ends of string, one short end of string and one long end of string. At this point, feel free to carefully cut off the short end of string as we will only be using the long end of string for this bracelet. Now that the short end of string is cut and we have the long end to use, we're going to run that string through the closest black bead on that bracelet. So watch close as I guide the string through this bead. When you get that string through that bead, be sure that you pull the string all the way through to ensure you have enough string to use for this bracelet. This will set us up for the next step. Once you have that string through that bead, you'll now be able to add beads to that string and running that string through each of the accent beads going around the bracelet. Since we're all set, let's go ahead and create the next layer of this bracelet. From here, you'll use that same in a string and add 5 beads to that string using this pattern. As you see, I've added 2 red beads, a black bead, followed by 2 more red beads on that same in the string. With those 5 beads on the string, this is what the pattern should look like. From here, we're going to take that same in the string and as you can see, that string is coming out of this bead here. We're going to run that string to the next accent bead. So watch close as I carefully guide the string to this bead. Again, when you get that string through that bead, you'll pull that string all the way through and those five beads will stack right into place. Be sure to pull the string just enough to keep those beads in a tight formation. It should be in a triangular shape just like this. Now that we've finished the first triangle, let's create another one using the same steps. Again, we'll take the string and we'll add 5 beads to that string using the same pattern. That's 4 red beads with a black bead in the center. When you have those beads on the string, you'll run that string through the next accent bead on that bracelet, which is this black bead here. Again, watch close as I guide the string to this bead. When you get that string through that bead, you'll pull that string all the way through until those 5 beads that were added stack right into place. Be sure to pull the string just enough keeping those beads in a tight formation in a triangular shape like this. We will continue using these same steps creating these triangles until we've gone all the way around the bracelet. So here are the steps once again. Add 5 beads to that string using this pattern, then run that string through the next accent bead on that bracelet. Again, watch close as I guide the string through this bead. When you get that string through that bead and pull it all the way through, 
Those five beads that were added will stack right into place in a triangular shape, just like this. So just continue repeating these steps, creating these triangular points through each accent bead until you've gone all the way around the bracelet. And be sure to pull the string just enough, keeping those beads in a tight formation, ensuring they stay in the desired shape. With this visual, you should be able to see that creating this part of the bracelet is simple and easy. You'll notice that the black beads will act as a guide point for us to run the string through, definitely making it easier to keep up on where to run the string. With this combination of green, black, and red beads, I think that it makes the perfect color scheme, definitely looks unique, and stands out. Leave a comment below and let me know what cool color combinations you think would look great for this bracelet and which ones you decide to use to make yours. Now that we've just about made it around the bracelet, we'll create another triangular point using the five beads in this desired pattern and running that string to the next accent bead here. You'll notice that we'll be passing through the knot, which was the starting point. This may be a little tough, but watch close as I guide the string through this bead. Once you get that string through that bead and pull it all the way through, those five beads will stack right into place, creating this triangular shape. Again, pull the string just enough, keeping those beads in a tight formation. Now that we have the string coming out of this bead, we'll need to step up to the next section by running the string through these two red beads and through this black bead on top. So watch close as I guide the string through these beads, which will take us up to the top row. Be sure to take your time when running the string through these beads, ensuring that you've gone through the correct beads to ensure that everything turns out correctly. As you can see here, I've got the string through the first two red beads, and now I'm going to run it through this black bead here on top. Again, continue watching as I guide the string through this bead. When you get that string through all of those beads and pull the string all the way through, we're all set for the next steps. Now that we've reached the top row of this bracelet, we can now add beads to the string, then run that string to the accent beads, which are the black beads here on the points of the triangles, until we've gone all the way around the bracelet. So check this out. For this row of the bracelet, we're going to take the string, and we're going to add three green beads to that string, which was our original base color of the bracelet. Then, we're going to take that string, and you're going to run it through the next black bead here on the top row. Watch close as I guide the string to the bead, pulling the string all the way through until all of those beads fit right into place, just like this. As you will notice, the three beads will fill in the space in between the triangles giving the bracelet shape. Let's do this again. We'll take the string and we're going to add three green beads to that string. Now that we have those beads on the string, we're going to run that string to the next black bead here on the top row, which is this accent bead. Watch close as I guide the string to this bead. When you get that string through that bead, pulling that string all the way through, those three beads that were added will fill in the space once again. From this point, we'll continue repeating the same steps when creating additional sections for this top row. We'll add three green beads to the string, then we'll run the string to the next accent bead on that top row. Getting that string through that bead, pulling the string all the way through until those three beads that were added stack right into place. As I should mention, be sure that you pull the string just enough, keeping those beads in a tight formation to ensure that your bracelet maintains its shape. So just continue filling in each section with three beads through the bead points of the top row until you've gone all the way around the bracelet. As I've mentioned before, with this visual you should be able to see how this bracelet design makes it easy to follow, as the accent beads, which are the black beads for this bracelet, act as a guide point on where to run the string through next. As we continue assembling this bracelet, you'll notice that once the three beads are added in between each section and the string is pulled just enough that the bracelet will take shape pulling those triangular points up. Now that we've just about gone all the way around the bracelet, let's finish the final section. Again, we'll add three green beads to the string then we're going to run that string to the next black bead here on the top row. Watch close and continue watching as I guide the string to this bead. Remember, once you get that string through that bead and pull the string all the way through, those three beads that were added will fit right into place, filling in the gap. And again, be sure to pull the string just enough, 
keeping those beads in a tight formation, ensuring that the bracelet maintains its shape. With the top row finished, this is what it should look like. From here, we'll need to run the string through these two red beads and the black bead here on the bottom row, finding a point to tie the string to lock the beads into place. Watch close and continue watching as I guide the string through these beads. As you can see here, I have the string through these two red beads. We'll pull it all the way through and pulling it just enough, keeping everything in a tight formation. Now that we have the string to these two red beads, we're going to run the string to this black bead here on the bottom. So again, just watch close as I guide the string to this bead. Remember to pull the string all the way through and just enough keeping those beads in a tight formation. Once you have that string pulled all the way through that bead, you can tie that string together with a knot to lock everything into place. As a side note, if you're using a thinner type of string, you can always tie that string to the string on the bottom row so that everything stays into place. Of course, there are many ways that you can tie this part together, so always do what works best for you. But just remember, when tying your string together, that your knot is tied nice and secure to ensure that everything stays together and locked into place. With the string tied, carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string, and your zigzag bracelet is now complete. And there you have it, another fine bead bracelet design that was fast, fun, and easy to make. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful, and you can create one just as great. If there's anything you would like to add, requests or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you are new, or you just haven't already, don't forget that you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bead tutorials just like this one. Hoping you'll tune in for the next one to satisfy your creative needs. Until next time, be sure to wear it and share it. Thanks for watching Turbo Beats.